Hello and welcome back to Imperial Galactic Survival. My name is Spanish. This is Project Eden and I am still on 10.5. I know a lot of you have probably made the switch over to 10.6 and are messing around with all the new features and stuff like that. But if I switch over to 10.6, it will at the moment uh, force CPU compliance onto me and none of the stuff obviously that that's been built for this series is obviously cpu compliant so i don't want stuff to just suddenly stop working uh so i'm going to stick with 10.5 at least until i'm forced to move to 10.6 when it goes to the public branch by which point hopefully we're kind of done with this let's play and we can start a fresh one um i've also got a bit of a confession to make i may have done a bit of cheaty cheaty <laughs> and ex accidentally ruined the game for myself <laughs> okay what I was trying to do was find the quickest way back to Moon Beta Station um, but I didn't want to just like spend hours aimlessly warping through the solar system trying to accidentally find so I did Sectors Reveal uh, which is commanding the console you can just type Sectors reveal and it reveals the entire sector map for you and then I from my current location managed to figure out the quickest way back to Boon Beta Station and then I did sectors hide uh, thinking that it worked the same as the map command so sectors hide you do sectors hide like that um, but the problem with doing sectors hide is it doesn't restore the sectors map back to how it was before you did sectors reveal no it just hides everything <laughs> so Everything that I have discovered uh, properly uh, has also gone. So even even my home world, it literally just shows me where I am at the moment and everything, anything connecting to that. Uh, so I broke it. Yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, by doing sectors reveal, I completely and utterly ruined uh, the exploration. No, it's it's not completely ruined. In fairness, you know that's the sector map. Um, I'm just going to choose not to look at things unless i'm i'm right next to them anyway so but i mean yeah this gives you guys an idea of exactly how uh crazy this this scenario is how big it is uh let's turn the warp lines off because that just makes it slightly easier uh yeah yeah so <laughs> that happened and that's that's how that happened anyway i was on my way back to the beta station which requires or means me going back basically to this here Geneva beta station and then that brings brings me right around to Hecker do you remember Hecker and then obviously Statel and that can link back to the beta station however um, <laughs> I, I love how ridiculously close I was anyway if I went this way then anyway it doesn't matter the point is uh, that was my route back but then I ruined it so I made it this far before I realized I ruined it and um, this is Runane, Renun, whatever, Runane. <laughs> this is another one of those dead planets. Can we have planet info, please? Thank you very much. Uh, nothing special. Literally another dead planet, um, which has probably got some nice POIs and loot down on there. There's no resources whatsoever, but whatever we find POI-wise. The, the moons around Renane have got some nice resources, including a restroom on them. Uh, but I did find something quite wonderful. But I'll get to that in a second. Let's have a quick look around. Taslia is a jungle planet, uh, which I presume is the basically a spin on the, the temperate swamp planet. Anyway, we're going to go have a look at Taslia, uh, of course. Devor is a barren planet, nothing particularly exciting, but it does have Satium and Neodymium on it, so we'll probably we'll be making a stop there as well. Um, Maya, uh, well, sorry, Isur, I presume that's pronunciation, is a Maya-type planet. I don't even know what Maya means. What the bloody hell does Maya mean? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, apparently there's some cultists down there, so I want to go down there and piss them off. That'll be fun. Um, yeah, toxic gases, cultists, brilliant. Let's check that out. So this this sort of uh, Redane, although this is a dead planet, and um, I didn't think any significance of it. I originally obviously walked into Tuzli, a jungle planet, and was like, oh my god. Um, and then Renane. And that revealed all this stuff. But it was already revealed because I was sector revealed. <laughs> anyway, so that's Maya. 
Ennion is an irradiated planet, which is nothing special. We've come across an irradiated planet before, and they're about as much fun as poking oneself in the eye. Um, Reist is a stormy desert. Again, all right, it could be quite fun because we've got POI detection reduced, and apparently it's in a permanent state of dust storm. Uh, but I suspect that probably not going to make great viewing, flying around it, not being able to see anything. Quanor is an ocean planet, which is always nice, with a restroom on it, but probably just one deposit, just to annoy you. Um, again, nothing that we haven't seen before. However, Scar. Scar is the planet that links back to that Geneva Beta Station. Uh, and the reason I started recording at this point is because I just saw what Scar was and read its description. Scar is a tropical planet. Iron, copper, silicon, cobalt, Promethean. The basics. Difficulty, easy. Uh, this tropical planet with bioluminescent oceans and an abundance of plant and animal life, sensors indicate the climate is favourable to agriculture. There is a message being sent out on a loop. Akua Deluxe Resorts welcomes one and all to the premier vacation destination in Eden. Travelers are recommended to have favorable standing with both Polaris and Talon before choosing this as a vacation destination. Please enjoy your stay. I found a freaking holiday planet. <laughs> Hells yeah. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of a round robin. I'm going to go check out Taslia, the jungle planet, first. And then uh, we're going to go and have a look at Scar. So I want to see, I think Scar, although practically, would make an excellent location to set up our primary base location. I suspect it's going to be a bit boring. Um, although hopefully the solar intensity allows it to be self-sustaining and blah, 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 blah. Lots of boring stuff. Taslia, however, is difficulty hard uh, and would be, I think, a little bit more interesting has the same stuff, iron, silicon, copper, cobalt, promethean, and a restroom. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and check out Taslia as, as a realistic location to set up our base of operations. Because um, I just think it might be a little bit more interesting. And that one, Taslia is the one that links all the way back to the asteroid field that I came from in the first place. While I was trying to find my way back to the moon beta. And that's another thing. We need to go back to Von Beta Station at some point. Setting up camp here will give us a quick link back to uh, Hecker and then Statel and then onwards. So perhaps in the next episode we can do that. For now, let's go check out Taslia. Right. Um, where the... I don't even know. Right, okay. It's fine. Yeah, because I've... Um, last last week's episode is kind of a lot of exploration, a lot of uh, fanning around and stuff like that. And uh, I've fallen a bit behind in regards to the the building of stuff that people have built for this series. So I do apologize for that if you've been sort of waiting around. Because we've had a couple of, a couple of blueprints that are, have obviously been selected and chosen by uh, my patrons and stuff to be built and I just haven't got around to it yet like that tank has been sat in my blueprints list for a while now and we're being shot at um or we yeah, it's just a drone whatever um yeah so apologies Yuka uh, I will get around to spawning your tank in and giving it a try I'm hoping this jungle world is where it's gonna uh take place we shall see we've got stuff in space everywhere we are definitely going to have to come back and check all of that out. Uh, but yeah. Moons of Tazlia as well. I think we've got some restroom on them as well. So there's a lot of nice restroom around. The only thing that isn't around in this little cluster is Ascosium. Speaking of blueprints as well. Uh, congratulations to Hazy uh, and Lily as well over on my Discord. Both have also won two of the other challenges. One of which by Lily is the FPTGS Garden Spanch. This is this is the defense tower uh, challenge, um, <laughs> and it was a matter of time before you guys started trolling me with these builds. Uh, and here it is. Okay, so the defense tower is basically a statue. Uh, <laughs> I think it's supposed to uh, be me. I'm not sure, but yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, 
and hazy for his the mid game base challenge that I submitted. I haven't got any of the pictures, unfortunately, set into the blueprints, but it, it's a, a modular base. So he's got modules for the greenhouse, manufacturing the warehouse, and the sort of med bay living quarters and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to popping those two down the modular base uh, and some garden sp spange gnome defense towers. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> uh, dear. Anyway, let's see what Taslia, I think that's how you pronounce it, has got to offer us. So this is a jungle planet. So I'm fully expecting the tree population to be extreme. Uh, and the viable base locations to be rare-ish. Uh, 0.86 G, so nice, very, uh, nice, reasonable gravity, uh, which is good. Oh, and I do like the choice of music as well. <laughs> very jungly. Uh, there's a lot of water over here. It's obviously very difficult, I think, to choose a base location here. Um, I think we might have to just actually land somewhere, jump in uh, Stella, and go for a little explore. Interestingly, it's like the first time I think I've come down on the planet and not directly over a bundle of Xerax POIs. This is great. There's a clearing over there. Head in that direction. If there's a little bit of water around here, this would be absolutely ideal. I, don't, I can't tell if that's a little... little pools of water or something like that. Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, we're gonna land here anyway. Ah, oh, turrets are engaging something. Something over there. Not sure. They are turned onto aliens and predators at the moment, I believe, because we had. They are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. What was the. All oh, one. Uh... <laughs> the rest from deposits down here. I thought that might be the case. There's a minigun drone over there. Okay, fine. There we go. Anyway, it's settled. Okay. Thrusters off. It's the first time they've been off in a while. <laughs> Shields are on and everything else is on still. Fine. Good. Let's jump into Stella. Make sure she's still got fuel and stuff, of course. Uh, spare fuel for days, actually. I need to offload that into our fuel and O2 containers there. Missiles, fine. O2, spare core. Um, fuel. Yeah. O2, yeah. Pentaxid a bit. Let's get my constructors working on some more of that while I'm away. Fuel. Give me some Pentaxid, baby. You the same. Fuel on O2. I've got a fair bit of that. I've got like 300 or so crystals in here, so fairly happy with that going off. Right. Stella! Tell a baby, we're still with your missing tail wings or whatever. Bless, blessed art thou, right? Stella, shields on me, darling. I have no idea what we're gonna find in this location. Nothing, absolutely nothing on the detector in this location. So that's that's good. We're just gonna have to fly until we find something, I guess. <laughs> it could take a while. Uh, there's gotta be something here. We've got drones here. There's one. Level 6 drones. One right next to me, but I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Drones don't usually... I mean, there are wandering drones that just sort of loiter. Um, but they're usually guarding something. Anyway, in, in doing that, we've actually finally discovered our detector ha is working and we've got something to the southwestish area this direction fog has rolled in which is a ever so useful for exploring uh, south again what we got we've got a Xerox factory complete with a lot of drones weapon systems yeah, that's a big bad POI. Interestingly, it didn't tell me I was entering Xerax territory. Is that not producing territory? It is not. Interesting, interesting. Hold the phone. What the devil? Wow. Wow. 
Look at the size of this thing. Cut the chat, Red 3. Ah, oh, it's dragged up here. Look at this thing. This is awesome. This is huge. It's like some ancient talon structure. Or something. It's not even got a thing on the map. It's pretty sweet. I wish I could see it better. The weather was a bit nicer. But that's pretty cool. That is huge. I love the detailing on it as well. That's got Ramachandra written all over it, that has. He, uh, he's one of the chaps that builds some of the POIs. Um, builds some of the Polaris POIs and stuff. It's got a certain style. And this looks like his work. But well, I could be wrong. And I could be upsetting someone by saying that. So I apologise if it's not. But whoever's work it is, fantastic job. That is very cool. I'll, um... I don't think there's anything to it. I don't think. I think it's literally. It doesn't have a core or anything. Otherwise, it would have an icon on the map, and I don't think we can get into it. Well, I could be wrong. It could have an underground presence, I guess, but I don't think so. I think it's just a ruin. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. You obviously, let me know about the uh, the Atlas Mine few planets back <laughs> yeah, I forgot to actually go into the mine <laughs> yeah yeah sorry <laughs> um, the good news is I'm going back that way I'm going back just to tell so you know we can we can definitely go via that mine and finish it off but I think it's probably going to be on any of the moons that are irradiated wastelands probably find the same POI Something south, something north, west as well. Oh, this looks like Polaris territory. So we have got some territory. This is a size 4 planet? Seems huge. Let's see if we can check it out. Polaris structure we got here. <laughs> In the thick, dense jungle. Research site. Sweet. Don't think there's any traders at the research site. Yeah, standard sort of pole POI. All right, let's head back north. I think we. I want to follow the sun so that you guys aren't having to deal with darkness all the time. Oh, we got a silicon deposit. Smashing. There we go. So we do have some resources on here. Brilliant. Yeah, the trick is definitely going to be finding a nice sort of flat area with close to water. Uh, where we can set up our modular bases. But first, some high speed flying through a canyon. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, just imagine Kenny Loggins playing, uh, flying through the danger zone right now, and all is well. Um, unfortunately, I can't play it because copyright and YouTube. But yeah, that's 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 what you're hearing right now. Or well, I'm gonna hit a rock. No, I'm not. Cause I was inverted. <laughs> anyway, finding stuff. Holy moly, what the crap nugget is that? Karana Propulsion Lab. That's freaking cool. And it's also got missiles on it. Abort, abort, get the hell out of there. Oh Jesus. Kenny Loggins, save me, Kenny! <laughs> ah! Don't want to be shot by missiles. I need to tear through the shield. Holy moly, that thing's awesome. What the hell am I going to do about that? It's not like I can take that on with a tank, is it? <laughs> Look at that! What is that? Is there something, like, docked on the, on the top there? Ah, it's sweet. And again, that just, that, like, that is the style of... Same sort of builder that built that that Talon ruin back there with the. That's this guy. That looks like uh, a, I don't know if it's the same build or whether they've actually managed to spawn something on top of it. That looks like some kind of ship docked on top there. Got sentries. Oh 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 oh. 
Oh god! More missiles! 82%. Uh, 76%. We're okay, we can get out. There's missile launchers facing up though, that's crazy. That's freaking cool! That is really cool. I like that. I just like, I want to find somewhere to settle base. And we can go and raid that. That would be sweet. We'll go with what, what the freaking butt nuggets is that? Karana Archives. Basically, this place is freaking cool. And it's got some awesome POIs on it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's so awesome. Everywhere. This is a freaking cool planet. And I'm gonna live on it, baby. I just need to find somewhere to park. Park my big beautiful butt. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Look at these things. We've got a spaceport down there. And then, what the hell is this? This is the Karana Garden. The Karana floating garden city of Garden Karana. And I'm going to do a barrel roll over the top of it. Request in flyby! Oh, <laughs> dodge that missile like a pro. Yeah, boy. Alright, fine. Karana Gardens. That looks freaking awesome as well. I uh, need to follow the sun. So let's head that way. Wow. Let's head over. Trying to trying to find places based on the sort of what the map looks like. It's difficult because it's such thick jungle. Obviously, it's a jungle planet. Um, but little sort of areas of water like that swampland down there. If there if there was sort of open flat ground right next to that, it'd be ideal. I don't know if I'm going to find a flat area that's free-ish of trees don't mind chopping um, some trees down uh, yeah that can support our modular base there's a big sort of area over here but it doesn't look like there's any water nearby uh, I just have to keep looking I think I might have found it I think I might have found a very good candidate at least for our base location. We've got a body of water here, a small little pondy type lake thing, which is great. We can set up our water generators in here. Um, so we've got all sorts of plants and stuff in the uh, in these forests as well. And then just literally through this short area of trees, which are quite easy to cut down, we have um, some fairly decent flat-ish land. Obviously, I think it's going to be impossible to get absolutely flat land around here. Um, certainly not this close to water anyway. It's difficult to tell, but I mean, there might be something up there possibly. Also, this is on the pretty much on the equator. Yeah, I mean, without exploring the entire planet, who knows? Who knows if it's good or bad? Anyway, I'm going to mark it as... Uh, Base pause one, and we're going to come back to it later. I'm going to continue. I've got plenty of fuel on me, so I'm going to continue in a westerly direction to complete a round the world. Come back on my ship from the other side. If I find anything else more viable between there and here, then I'll let you know. Otherwise, we'll be heading back into orbit to check out the vacation planet. Scar, I think it was called. It was an interesting name for a paradise, but I can, I can dig it. I found another uh, location which is perhaps <laughs> even better um, because it's it's actually got these mountains that surround it. We could dig into those and, and uh, get a lot of the crushed stone we need and also build out like a hangar bay or something. I don't know. Uh, the problem is it's right on the freaking crease. <laughs> it's like right on the crease. Uh, it would be... I go from one area of the base to the other you'll be crossing over the the green line you remember there used to be a green barrier here they've obviously got rid of that but that that little blink there is is the line and it's it's not too bad they've obviously made it very very good and it's not sure about building a base on the crease you know but look at that it's almost oh that is a lot of flickering that's me going backwards and forwards over the line like 
that's just going to crash the game, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's so annoying because this is ideal. Look at that cliff is just dying out for um, a hangar bay to be dug into it and this close to water as well. Son of a crease. Son of a crease. Yeah, that's a shame. Let's keep looking. I can't. I can't live on the crease. It's just not happening. <laughs> ah, hello. Possible third location here. Nice big area of flat ground, including like a naturally occurring couple of runways, <laughs> and right next to water. Yeah, I think this might be the winner. They usually get a very impressive base in here. Don't know if we're going to have time in this series to build a very impressive base. But, uh, yeah, this is a good location. Alright, I'll mark it. I think this will be the one. Okay, let's check out Scar, this so-called paradise vacation planet. Wow, <laughs> actually that looks pretty damn good. Okay, <laughs> first impressions? Awesome. Uh, let's... Yeah, we got, we got, what we got here? We got, um, we have a UCH research vessel. Definitely be worth going and checking that out. I believe those, um, luxury goods trader, well, Empress, the XOS Empress. Wow, okay. Sweet. Uh, the, you know, I was picking up those uh, holographic screens for some reason from the, uh, the objects, the unknown objects. Apparently I can sell them on the UCH research vessels. I'm not sure for how much, but presumably a fair old amount. So uh, yeah, definitely give that a go. We'll also want to check out the Empress. That sounds awesome. Luxury goods trader. Yeah. Even the space around Paradise, Paradise has got some cool stuff to check out. All right, let's get down there. Here we are then. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Paradise. Apparently. Uh, yeah, okay, we've got our deluxe resort is all the way over there. Let's turn this boat around, head that way. I want to check that out. There is a thing down there though. Is that a crashed ship? I love the colours on this planet, are incredible. Private shut, private suite. <laughs> How private is that? It's not that private. I'm, uh, I'm hovering outside it. I wonder if there's anybody inside. Oh god! <laughs> it may have just submerged the ship. Hi! Hope you have not, not interrupted your holiday. <laughs> awesome. Right. Um, yeah, we need to go. We are going to go there. Deluxe Resort. It's that away. 11 kilometers. So I'm going to do some. Basically, we've got a long distance like that to travel rather than traveling up measly 40 or so meters per second in atmosphere pop back out into orbit fly a bit and then pop back in every now and again see how further closer you are and adjust as need be that's what i'm going to do well, there we have it i found <laughs> i found the resort just as the sun rises yeah it's pretty cute it's pretty cute i'll give him that There's nowhere to park though. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. I'm just gonna park my giant space truck <laughs> next to this beautiful looking resort um, and just make it hover here outside. Obviously, you know, there's like a lot of noise and disrupt. Jesus Christ, come in here and you've got guys pointing guns at me. Like, what is wrong with you lot? Yeah. This is actually, I think this is the Akura Resort off the workshop. Um, I forget who it's who it's by. Um, it's a bit weird, the uh, The water looks more like oil. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, pretty paradise-y, I must admit, very nice. Uh, yeah, all Polaris, there's no Xerox on this planet whatsoever. There is um, some talent around as well. I don't, there is some resources actually. But like I said, I think I think setting up here 
Hakuma <laughs> Second Raceway is here. Oh my god, I didn't even know. <laughs> I am going there. We are going to have a race around my race circuit. I didn't even know he'd put that in the game. That's brilliant. This is the best thing yet. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's actually here. <laughs> this is literally my favorite thing about this scenario now. Although, Aurorovian, you need to lower it in the ground. You need to lower it, like, I should be level with the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> we actual raceway is here. Hang on. This requires a very specific vehicle. Oh yeah. The number nine Spangimoto, baby. The <laughs> number nine Spangimoto. Hang on. Spangimoto, you need some fuel. Booyah. <laughs> Hang on, we're on the wrong side. We need to go into the uh, com the competitor's entrance. Oh my god, I've forgotten how maneuverable this thing was. It's crazy. It's crazy fast. Oh yeah. Here we go. She's a thoroughbred racer. Here we go. Kuseka Raceway. Welcome. Team 1. Oh yeah. Out of the pit lane. They changed the way that this thing like reacts because I swear it wasn't this finicky before. I don't know, but we're on the raceway. <laughs> yes, cutting the corners. Not cheating. Oh crap, I may have done that, but uh, <laughs> got stuck on the. <laughs> I'm a little bit rusty, shall we say. It's been a while! Also, I'm not sure that the uh, the sensitivity is quite right. <laughs> bing, 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 bing! Oh, yes. This is it. Best scenario ever. Project Eden. <laughs> you beautiful boy! I keep catching my nose on the walls. It's really screwing my time up. Keep forgetting how long this thing is. I can't remember um, how sensitive I had the mouse when I first set it up, but I remember being able to like champ around this racetrack so fast. Mind you, I had like while I was building it, I was testing the crap out of it like all the time. So <laughs> that's amazing. A cool actual second actual raceway. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> Uh dear. I know, I know, I know. It's like, yeah, Spange, well done. You've got a POI in, in the, the scenario. Calm the shit down. <laughs> All right. Just because you haven't got a POI in the scenario. This is a Kuzika Raceway. Hells yeah. <laughs> I can't remember my way around this place. That's it for the rest of this video, by the way, guys. I'm just going to be walking around. <laughs> okay, what well, uh, Literally walked in the front door of the resort and went, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's, a cool, it's like a raceway. Let's go there and have a look around. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will go back to the resort. I've got to go through. It took me ages to set up all the walkways on this thing. Like team lounges, VIP roof access. Yeah, man. Stand D. Food courts. Look. Akua fried poultry. Dino burger. <laughs> Uh, I make myself laugh, apparently. There we go. Well, someone had it. <laughs> a cool second race, mate. <laughs> Amazing. Yep, Jimbo South, steel pike thrusters. Man, it's all here. The ASR champion podium. <laughs> Hell yeah. I forgot I built this. There's so much of this that I forgot I built. It was so much fun. So much fun building RP stuff. Amazing. All like the sponsorships, adverts around and everything. Yeah, and this was like... This is where you, you would place bets and stuff. You got Scoot Guard Dave there. Keep things in order. Main entrance. Ticket in. Stan B over there. And this was where everybody came in. Yeah! Green lights, red lights. Next, please. 
the Rusty Nail, Fishy's Bar, Stag Taco. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Enough nostalgia, Spanish. We're all bored. Let's move on. Akua Seca Raceway is in Project Eden, and there is no greater reason to now play Project Eden. <laughs> so go play it. Go download it. Get on it. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, right. seriously now. Um, I need to go back and check out that resort. Because um, there's a lot of like little stuff. I don't think there's anything I can do in it. It's not like I'm going to loot that place. It'd be interesting to be like an enemy of Polaris, right? And just come in here and trash their toys. But um, the fact that they've got an Akuaseka Raceway means that they're just... They're, they're good people. They're good people. They've got great taste. This is definitely paradise. But definitely not a planet of any particular viewing interest. So back to the jungle planet. Uh, next episode and we'll start spawning in some bases and also we'll start heading back to Vun Beta Station with our two codes that we've got open those doors so that's quite an easy jump Geneva Geneva I'm gonna go with Geneva that's that's literally how it's spelled um, and then uh, to tell all the way down to Vun Beta uh, where we've got two codes from from before we can open the doors and see what the hell is inside this mysterious structure. But other than that, yep, back to the jungle planet. Tasila, set up our base and go from there. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, guys. I've certainly enjoyed it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and hopefully I'll see you next time. I promise it won't be me just walking around my own POIs and, and stuff. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Actually, no promises. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll see you then. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.